You know, the number one question that I get asked when I speak is, what are we going to do about homelessness? Port is a tremendous solution to the issue of homelessness because you are going right there to the street to make sure that those who are out there can get the help that they need. Today, Congresswoman Judy Chu presented a $900,000 check to the Pasadena Outreach Response Team, also known as Port, and the money is going to continue funding so that Pasadena Outreach Response Team, which is the Public Health Department, Union Station Homeless Services, Pasadena Fire Department, and Huntington Health can continue their collaborative outreach to our homeless population here in Pasadena so that we can continue taking clients to clinical appointments, to detox, rehabilitation, to go to housing appointments, and helping them with on-field medical screenings. Part two's main focus was to handle 911 calls so that way we're not getting an armed response for individuals experiencing homelessness. It was for us to have more individuals in the city to help instead of enforcing. It's been successful and this is just gonna help us with our journey and hopefully at some point we'll get three, four, five teams here in Pasadena. So instead of armed officers responding, it's a firefighter and a social worker that's able to resolve the call and then enro enroll those clients into services so that the calls don't have to be made in the future and that it gives the clients an opportunity and a pathway to stability and eventually even housing from there. We're a city team and for the most part, uh, we have collaborated with Huntington Hospital and Union Station Homeless Services, but we have the fire department involved and, and you never see that. Usually dealing with homelessness that's on the city government level is the police department. Not always the way that we need to make contact with individuals on the street, and we're full-time on the field. We're there every day, so when they talk about the point of contact being 17 times until somebody uh, is comfortable with you, we've minimized that on the port team because we're there every day. Our name is known on the streets now. I think that's what has set us apart is that we are able to dedicate more time on the streets. There's a lot of veterans are like this PTSD and all that, things like that. They don't, they don't really want help. But with the poor team is totally different, totally different. They're on you. On you. They gotta make sure that you, you know, you get help, you get help if you want it. But a lot of veterans don't want help. That's the only problem right there. A lot of them is like, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. And I heard about Tony Z from some prior friends of mine. He just started talking to me, took my information, things, and he was on me. He was on me. Because I was still a little, little naive about oh, how this is going to work. Every day I'd talk to him, he'd always come by, he knew how to find me. And so 30 days later, I have my own place, thanks to the poor team.